tied because there's money on the line. So we just we just give people like a better match. Last year, yes. Last year, I always lose this. This tournament is being held in St. Louis, in I don't know, like some Tupperware building. It's like next door to a Russian slash Israeli combat studio. That's nice. No, 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 they're, they're about to play a loser seven on stream. Apparently someone has a venue in Edgewood they want to host a tournament with you. Uh, how close is that to St. Louis? Anderson? That's close. Probably, yeah, I mean, we're interested. Five minutes? Forty-five. Forty-five. Probably interested. Okay, can I update the break? Yes, I forgot to change the score from Tujo. So this is Loser Semis, guys. We got Metroid versus Ripple here. Pokemon Stadium 2. Ripple is not up 2-0. He's actually losing right now. Alright, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Uh, Reverse Waddle Dash into Grab. Char Charizard can actually get a ton of mileage in this matchup from grabs. He's an incredibly good grab guy, and that's one thing Day to Day is very susceptible to, being grabbed. Just most characters don't have like super good grab combos on him. Charizard, however, probably will, so he'll be able to get those kills that other characters lack. Yeah, that Nair's hitbox being so huge and DG's hurtbox being so huge, they really go hand in hand for Metroid being able to put some really good solid damage in there. That was reminiscent of the booming. From Burl. The Gordo definitely would have killed Metroid there, but so will that other. So we see Metroid using forward throw, trying to get GD off stage. I don't know if I like that. I'd like to see him down throw tech chase. Yeah. Catches that waddle dash. I thought it was impossible, Dark. Where did Dark go? That's it. Dark! You see this Dark? <laughs> impossible to edge guard GD is what he said. Yeah, he's Dude, it's impossible to edge guard. He's not impossible, but he is very hard. He is very hard to edge guard. I know. No, Hylian says it's impossible. No, Dark said it's impossible. Ooh, really nice up smash by Ripple there. Got to try and get rid of the stock as quick as possible. Alright. Backdoor tried to get a retreating forward around him, did not work. Unfortunately, trades with a forward tilt. Nails him with a down air to back air. Almost hits him with a wild D. Gets him with a back air for the kill. Now we are even on stocks, especially after that really, really first one that Metroid got rolled. That was DDD's dashing grab miss that rolled. Actually gets him with a standing grab, back throws, tries to get a forward and doesn't connect. Just the back air and the nair, but Metroid follows up with the seismic toss. Doesn't look like Ripple knows how to DI it. Another grab, and he goes with the forward throw. It's not going to kill. Allowing him to wild dash back. I thought he was going to get him with a grab there. Ended up not getting it. Charging a forward smash had to have been a miss to put there. And the up air will do it. Ripple down to his last stack. That's uh, some great aerial bait from Ripple. Really nice forward tilt, keeping Charizard off the stage. Allows him to get back on, gets hit by a nair, down tilt, forward tilt, down tilt, oh, forward air to down air. Oh my gosh! 86% of damage in like two seconds. Metroid with these crazy combos, and DDD nails him with the forward air, definitely not going to kill him, still has his glide. Dan, still has his glide. Oh, Dan is not it. used to uh, taking his punishment. Nope. Usually deal, dishing it out. Oh, that up he had a shield, upbeat. so good. It wasn't even out of shield, it was raw. Oh really? Yeah. Seismic toss, that's it, he doesn't even care. <laughs> Rage! Assault is real. <laughs> After how he treated me, like the first round of the bracket, I like seeing it reverse. <laughs> Ripple actually eliminated the two other people from Champagne that like came together. <laughs> he eliminated both of us, Column and I. Damn. Dirty boy. 
It's alright, you're still welcome to my place. We'll come beat my ass. Looks like we're going to Dracula's. How do you feel about this pick? I don't know if Ripple wanted like a little bit more room it looks like or what? I think Ripple's just really trying to play off the fact that he lives forever, but I don't know if it's a great idea. Yeah, I remember the edges on this stage actually weren't that big. They actually had to be extended in the last patch. Yeah. Or with like all the other ones. Yeah. Ooh, nice way of playing off the stage, but ends up getting grabbed. Charizard's there coming so much. I mean, this is really just going to be a war of attrition. Yeah. Watching these two slug it out, really entertaining. Gets the back air, and that's Gets probably... Oh, he still had his glide. Saved it. Now it's gone. He's dead. Oh. It's working out for Ripple so far. Yup. He likes the high platforms. So yeah. He get on them really quick and then just... He does like to play in the air a lot. <laughs> Dracula's Castle actually being legal at the tournament today. We're going by the uh, Smash and Xanadu stage list now. Whereas uh, Distant Planet and Dracula's Castle being legal as counter picks. And Skyloft and uh, Pokemon Stadium 1 are actually banned. Is that the Xanadu stage list? It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's anywhere. It's I just anywhere. like they were they were the ones who like did it first. I okay. guess that's why I'm calling it theirs. Am I supposed to say how many matches I won on this? Or I just it doesn't matter. Okay. So we got down throws. Almost catches him with the down B, but that's why Di out far enough. Just jumping and catching him with down airs. Much not having any of it. Just F gets out of there. Double Nair, almost a back there, but he's responded by a Nair of his own from Metroid. That was a fly to up air that almost worked, but did not. Oh. Metroid really smart with his glide. If he DI'd and survived that, he definitely would have had it and been able to uh, come back. That was a little too strong. great bait by Ripple to get the kill, though. He jumped away from Metroid and made Metroid have a false sense of security. Good job avoiding both of those Nairs, staying up really, really high. Gets the inhale and turns him around. being a good option coming down on top of people. Maybe not standing and doing it by yourself, but Ripple knows when it works. Just throwing waddles everywhere. Getting wow, another great. inhale. Solid 10% every time. It also puts, it instills like fear in you. you yeah, because you, try to, you try to mash out of it, and then sometimes the mashing like carries over to like, when you get out of it, it can end up being a misinput. <laughs> He's gonna try to mash out of DDD's inhale because the only thing he can do is like spit you out vertically. Right? Unless he's going for a swallow side. Yeah. You just want to let him like spit you out and then like know what you're gonna do afterwards so you can punish. Punishing off of the inhale is actually like really, really possible. You just need to know how to do it. So we get a back throw by Ripple setting up for another edge guard situation. I was kind of hoping for a Gordo there, I can tell. Not really wanted a waddle. Playing safe from above like he always does. Just jumping all over Metroid. Getting an aerial out when he thinks it's going to be safe. As that forward air was. Nails him with the waddle. Metroid at 141%. Ripple needs to get rid of the strike as soon as possible before Metroid can rack up any extra damage. Definitely needs this game. Any kind of deficit, a 2 0 deficit could spell end of the tournament for either of these players. So he really needs this. Catches it with the downer, the reverse grab, smashing a lot, or pummeling a lot, and the back throw kills. Just being really safe with those fair or down airs. Coming back with the waddle dash, Metro does not care, kills that poor sucker. Almost hits him with the back air, opposite side of the hitbox. Really, really quick wave land on the stage. <laughs> waddle dashing and up B can still make it back. Ripple's so good with that waddle dash. Oh. Ooh. Spot that just twice. Avoids the up B. Looks like Metro's having a hard time getting in, but he catches that back air. He's not going to do it. What a waddle dashing back comes down with a down air. Almost hits him with the up tilt. It's another back air. See why he picked the stage. Yep. Oh, catches him with an inhale. I don't even know how he got that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Metro just getting beat up like a ragdoll right now. Metro is struggling with that yeah. kill. Yeah. 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 Really, really safe with those inhales. I think he's only gotten punished for it once. 
Turn around Waddle Dash. Waddle Dash is again, gets it with the forwarder. It's not gonna kill. But he still has his line, doesn't use it. I know, I have to play it. Coming down with the Nair, just throwing out the moves, trying to get something. And the back throw is not gonna kill. He's gonna get the eye. The crowd is chanting DDD, they want to see him finish it, but Charizard actually ends up with the next kill, shuts the crowd up. Alright, I don't see this happening. It's been a war of attrition, there's been no gimps. Nope. So, just big punch and plus, Metroid plays absolutely impeccable. He's gonna get hit by something. Or grabbed. Just playing so safe with these waddles. Yeah, that's uh, down throw, down throw, run forward, down smash, or chain grab again. I think back throw might go oh, forward throw a little there. He had no DI at all, <laughs> just trying to mash out. He was, he was done with that, that game, was let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get it, get it on with. No DI. It's 1-1, right? Yeah, it is 1-1. Are you going to move over here? All right. Oh, my neck <laughs> Yeah, dude, this TV is, like, annoying. We could put it in here, but we then could, but then the see. yeah, the, the resolution was gonna mess up. I was thinking about that earlier. So I am Mirza, commentating with Hylian. Sup? Sorry that you guys have had to bear with me for so long, but nobody's really come and tried to kick me off the commentary. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep talking. Nah, we love it. 20 beers. Yes, Melee Bracket will be starting soon. Melee Bracket has started, actually. Yeah, the, the Bracket's started, but like we're going to start streaming it after PM, PM Bracket finishes up. Yep. This is Loser's Semis, next is going to be uh, Loser's Finals. And I mean, uh, winners, winners Finals already happened, right? Or no? No. So, winners next finals is going to be Winners Finals then, right? It's going to be Strong Bad versus Dark. Yeah. That'll be really fun to watch. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited for that. DK versus Marth is what that's going to be, probably. And then the winner of this is going to play the loser of that. And yeah. then we have Grand Finals. Alright, back at a four. I like the stage uh, break. You can tell Ripple really likes the. Uh, Big stages. Well, I like to play the War of Attrition. Metroid wants to make it more into a game of uh, co uh, converts. Oh, catches the up He knows exactly when he's going to use it. That was crazy. I told you. Action stop, bro. I this, told you. This set actually is three of five, though, so this will yeah. not be the end of it here. Give so, the quick back throw. I can the get tiniest it. platform okay. supporting uh, both Charizard and DDD somehow. Metroid not falling for those back throw tricks. Gets forwarded off. Ripple loves this stage, to be honest. I, I know he likes his big stages too, where he can survive for a really long time, but he has no issue coming to WarioWare and like dishing it out, getting get the easy kills. Works in DD's favor as well. Really nice down air out of the shield ends up not being punished. Two of them gets the up air and that ends it. WarioWare not working in Martin Metroid's favor there. Even stocks 57% lead for Metroid, but 57% is nothing in this matchup. The back throw setting up for edge guard gets him with the down tail. Ripple not something. ready. This is WarioWare. Great counter pick. Day doesn't really have those instant vertical burst kills. Nope. He has to really, combo really into his kills. What he'll do is try to get the down throw, down throw, walk yeah, off fair. Exactly. That's like his pretty much earliest way to kill here. But you can DI that very vertical. Yep. Whereas Charizard's down tilt, if he catches you, he might just die. <laughs> That's right, always throwing to get people off stage. It usually works as it did last stock. That time it didn't get too much percent for him. Nice spot dodge. Just always hitting that back air. Both characters trying to grab and spot dodge each other. Well, interesting choice to get off the ledge. It works. Yeah. Flamethrower is usually used on the ledge. Metro usually doesn't adopt for it, but like, I know it definitely works. It misses the re-grab. Really quick back air. It's a great nice type too. Immediately gets his glide out. The thing with Charizard is you can always DI down. Even at high percentages, just keep DIing down and like once you get shot off at like that really like weird angle, you just use your glide and you're like good. It's uh very tanky. <laughs> that almost killed uh, Ripple. But ended up making it back with Final Dash. Sorry, man. I didn't want to distract you. Uh, Good spot dodge by Metroid, averted the first hit of that multi-hit jab, but unfortunately gets hit by a Gordo. That's a quick 20%. What? Ripple just trying to survive as long as he can, tack up little 
little by little damage. I was just gonna have to put it work the next dog. Thought I was gonna see a size oh, toss there. Playing? Metroid goes for the back yeah, throw. Play with. Forward he ends up working. Right. See if we can get a combo going for Ripple here, or else he's gonna get caught too far behind. Metroid, good job canceling that grab or glide really, really early. Ripple going off on this combo knows he needs this stock to be gone if he's gonna have a chance. Really wants to lose or win this game. Wow, you're this back. He's a lot closer than I realized. Gets hit by that up smash. Trying to throw Waddles, gets hit by a Nair. Gets the back there, that'll do it. We are down to last box. Stack it up. Uh, station. Ripple was trying to go for the re-grabs, ended up missing, missing the dashing grab. Throws another Gordo, almost was power shielded. If that Gordo was power shielded and came back at Ripple, I think the venue would have exploded from that. But the forward air will do it. WarioWare ended up working really, really well for Metroid there. As he, he's up 2-1 in this best of five. So Metroid banned Pokemon Stadium. Was that uh, Windfalls where Charizard's laying down like he doesn't get that long with PM? I think that's from Brawl. Yeah. Uh, Dart was asking if uh, Charizard's laying down pose from uh, the uh, anime series was put in by the PMBR. It's actually from Brawl. Sakurai had that in on his own. It is from Brawl. That was close. I was just corrected by Strong Band. Apparently they did put it in themselves. Yeah, paint me like one of your French girls, Charizard. You need to find the mouse. As Ripple takes him to Green Hill Zone. He apparently liked the close quarters, but maybe the platforms were giving him some issues. Let's see if it was a good counter pick or not. Tries to go for the double forward air, ended up getting it okay. by Metroid. He did it pretty instantly, got back to the stage safely. Back to neutral, his original Ripple gets the inhale. Hit by an air from Metroid, he inhales again. Probably not the best space forward tilt, you usually want to get it at the end of the range so the brunt of the hammer hits, but wasn't punished too bad for it. Takes an up smash to the face, almost a forward beat, definitely would have sealed out that stock. Nice down air from Ripple, almost gets the forward air from Hollow. I'm glad they put the Sonic Adventure 1 music on this stage. Oh yeah, Sonic, the Sonic, Sonic music that was music. from Sorry. Brawl was absolutely terrible. Like, the PMBR did a good job putting Sonic's actual music into the game. No, this, this was on, man. Was it? Yeah, this is on Brawl's. I, I was just talking about the Sonic music in general. They had like no classic Sonic songs for some yeah. reason. DM didn't add any. Didn't add any? No. These are all... Red Red Zone, Red Zone, Red Zone, Red Zone, Red Zone, all in Brawl. Really? Yeah, I believe it's easy. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about at all about that. <laughs> oh, almost gets the double forward there. That would have been hype. On the lane, Shinobi play. Metroid's actually been pretty good about punishing Ripple when he has to use his upbeat prematurely. Unfortunately, he didn't get anything there. Ripple was able to get out of that punish. Ended up taking the lead for the first time this match. Up 40% on Metroid. Misses the nair. It's a punish for a down air from Ripple. Comes down with the following air that time, follows up with the forward air. Almost connects to the forward B, but Ripple makes it back to the stage. Nice forward air from Metroid. Tries to follow up with another forward. Double forward B ends up landing perfectly on the edge. Oh, this is about as close as close can be. Yeah, this is this is a really, really tight set in terms of like player skill, I feel like. Both of these players are right around the level where they have all of the tech of their character mastered, and it's just about who can execute it better the time. Oh, really good edge guard by Ripple there. That was super creative. T takes a one stock lead and turns it into a two stock lead. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I looked right down for a up. second. Yeah. Up and oh my god. That edge guard was insane. Just manhandling. Really nice inhale. Yeah. So safe with those aerials. Does not come down on any kind of approach that could be like shield grabbed at all. Gets Meteor, but DD does not care. Can cancel that Meteor instantly. Really nice back air. Charizard just glides through the waddle, does not care at all. Tries to nair through that one. Up he hits it again, but not enough. Really good pick for Ripple there, it looked like. So we are tied 2-2. We are going to the last game of this set. <laughs>
Loser goes home. <laughs> Winner moves on to losers, losers finals, where they place the loser of strong bed and dart. I want Metroid to win so I can play my melee match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ripple's last tournament, I actually went with him. It was Exposure 9. He placed third. It was a really, really good showing. All of his games were super, super hype. Exposure 8, uh, it was Kirk, the Bowser player, who actually knocked him out. Kirk won with a uh, down B that ended up breaking Ripple's shield and just knocking him off the stage. Ripple ended up counterpicking Donkey Kong at, at Exposure 9 and 2 0 Kirk, showing that character counterpicks are what PM is all about. So Metroid takes Ripple back to Final Destination, starts off with an 88% combo of his own, and Ripple's got, got something to say. It's quick 32%, but ends up resetting back to neutral. Both characters are playing footsies, jump around each other. Metroid connects with the forward tilt. Oh. Tries to hit with a down smash, ended up trading with something as Ripple was coming up with that upbeat. Good up really nice upbeat out of shield to punish the uh, poorly spaced aerial. Man, on all of their counter picks, they've just like had an advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Metroid gets the last one. Let's see if Ripple can overcome that. Comes with the inhale, ends up getting punished by a nair. Yeah, right. Almost gets hit by the heat wave. Charizard's forward B. Close to the up smash. Unfortunately, oh, Ripple bring it back. Misunderstood where Ripple is going to come. Ripple just so patient, staying right above you in the air. Loves getting those downers. The seismic toss does it. Kills off the top. Ripple almost no, DI'd him right there. Let's play Ripple. I've been waiting for a minute. Yeah. Oh, really nice back here. The Waddle do do some damage of his own, helping Edge Guard. Ooh, nice Waddle. That might get him the kill. Just had to finish up the Edge Guard, and that's it. DDD's uh, Waddle D is actually a really good projectile, except for their ending lag when he's on the ground. If he throws them on the ground, he has like 40 frames of lag at the end of it. He needs to toss them in the air or else he just wasted his own time. Nice grab by Metroid. Yeah, we have a lot of competition. Yeah. Ripple tried to go for the quick backer out of shield, but Metroid was waiting to the shield of his own, gets him with the upbeat. We got chain grabs, walk off fair, bread and butter DDD, allowing Metroid to get back onto the stage with this wall of pain, turn around into forward air. Oh, it's scary. Cool. Thought he was going to be able to land on the stage after that air dodge. Unfortunately, I tried to grab the edge, but he, just, oh, really? he held down while I was passing. Yeah, if you're edge. if you're holding down or away from the edge as you're falling near it, you won't grab it. Uses heat wave to try to get the Waddle D off, but Ripple just like put a little bit of an attack to keep it back on. Oh, that was a nice, dude. really nice back air, yeah. And we are straight up tied. These guys are so even. Battle of the Giants. This is like uh, Rampage all over again. Really nice fair spacing by Metroid there, getting DDD off stage. Wow. Ripple not oh, canceling that. Choked a little bit. Trying to hit him with the stars and ended up missing. Uh, Metroid barely missing with that back air. Surprised he isn't using Nair more in that situation. Yeah. Maybe he wants to keep him off and not above. Oh, that's Really nice was... forward air. Ooh, he almost killed at 88%. Wasn't ready with the DI. Great Tried to hit with the, the forward B, but Ripple came in and down aired him to the face. You gonna see a back throw or a throw? Turn around. We looked like he was gonna try to go for a nair there. Oh. Fly into nair. Ripple makes it right above him with the waddle dash. Gets a grab of his own. Misses the dashing grab. Edge guard situation. Charizard's making it back. Great tech. He has to do the back air to win this game. Yeah. It's just like Mars. You gotta do the turnaround, right? Does Char can Charizard grab up B from both sides or no? He can turn around during the up B. Yeah. Oh yeah. But like once, he, once he picks the direction, he can't. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can be facing way up either way. So this They're entire like second stack for both of these players has just been punch for punch for punch. So been crucial. even since the beginning. They both started at zero and now they're both at 120. Yeah. <laughs> Tip for tech. Oh. The Gordo is going to do it! D finally get the Gordo. Metro upset because he shielded in reaction and then he yep. left to shield. That was incredibly crucial. I that Gordo might, might the be the game changer, yeah. We'll see if Ripple can tack on some damage before he goes on his own. Oh He's still gosh. living, Waddle Dash and Bag. 
And there's the waddle. Really nice down there. Ends up getting grabbed. The seismic toss. It's not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. Deep lead at 160%. Waddle dash and back again. Just the reverse nice. waddle dash. Water on, probably Brian. facing the other way. This is so tense. Yes, Game it is. Five. This is a very high time. Oh. Reverse waddle dash. Oh. Up tilt. He's just spacing those waddles so well. Comes out with the downer, gets the grab back throw. Ripple staying out of uh, Metroid's grab game by just jumping. Oh, what? And Metroid, being the nice guy he is, agrees to let the match continue, even though it was Ripple that paused. Technically, he could have just won the game. He could have won the entire set right there, but I don't think I don't think either player wants to see it go like that. No, Leffen isn't here. No, Leffen. <laughs> Metroid has not been able to beat this spacing by Ripple. He's been doing really well with the Waddles. Almost hits that forward smash. Tried to extend the hitbox. <laughs> Comes off the stage with a regular get up. Even at high percentage, Ripple did not end up punishing him. It's that Waddle Do. Waddle Do putting in some damage of his own. Ripple just keeps throwing it at him, though he's going to like put on an attack. Ooh, almost hits that forward air. Metroid is trying to space as well as he can. He needs to get one solid hit to get something started, but ends up getting hit by that up tilt.